All right, so this is The Suicide Squad. Um, uh, obviously, Suicide Squad came out in 2016. I just recently reviewed that, and it's trash. It's, it's not good at all. But this one is directed by James Gunn, and it's definitely better. I'll tell you how I feel about it a little bit later. So Amanda Waller, played by Viol uh, Viola Davis again, um, she, this time, she's still doing her little, you know, secret little operations, sending metahuman villains off to do dangerous missions where they're most likely going to die. And if they, you know, go against her orders, she blows their head up. But if they come back, she takes 10 years off their sentence. You know, same, same concept. So in this movie, there's this island, uh, this place, uh, Corta Maltese, I think it was called. Uh, there was a military coup there, and there's some freedom fighters, you know, attacking and stuff like that. So in this movie, she's sending the Suicide Squad to take out this facility, Jotunheim. It's like this building, and uh, destroy what's there. And you don't really know everything, but it's like Project Starfish, which is some developments with the starfish that you don't fully know until they get there. The, there's a lot of characters in here, but I guess I'll just say like the main group that you follow. So. Uh, Peacemaker, uh, played by John Cena. There's uh, Idris Elba, who plays Bloodsport, who's pretty much just Deadshot, it feels like. He even has a storyline with his daughter. It's a little bit different, but it feels like it's because Will Smith wouldn't come back, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Margot Robbie plays Harley Quinn again. Joel Kinnaman plays uh, Rick Flagg. There's also Daniela Melikor, who plays Ratcatcher 2. She's like the daughter of the original Ratcatcher. And uh, I think Sylvester Stallone voices uh, King Shark. That's like the main group that you do, that you follow. All right, so this movie's getting good reviews, and I fully understand because it's really great. Like, it's, it's pretty awesome. I, it kind of feels like the movie that I wish we would have gotten in 2016. I mean, I wish they would have changed the title. I don't know why it's just The Suicide Squad. You probably could have done something a little different. It's a little too, too, too close to the other one. But, yeah, it, it, it's violent. It's, like, it's, it's gory, but it never... It doesn't feel like it's too much, though, or it never... I thought maybe that would get old after a while, but it really doesn't. Um, the relationship with the characters actually feels fleshed out this time. Like, the characters feel like they have development. Uh, Idris Elba and John Cena's character, they have kind of this back and forth where they're kind of, like, competing with one another because they're kind of similar in what they do. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, Rick Flagg, I even liked him a lot more in this version. Uh, Margot Robbie is great as Harley Quinn. I think she gets better with, with each, each movie, and she kind of has her own little plot that's going on, and uh, I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's well written, the dialogue is all really funny, but naturally so, to the point where it doesn't feel like they're stopping to, like, to say something funny. It feels like the characters just are that. There's also, I forgot about him earlier, but uh, Polka Dot Man, played by David, I don't know how to say that, Das Malkian. Um, he's crazy, pretty much, but there's this thing that, there's this kind of running joke that happens with him that I thought was really funny. And I think one of the main things I really liked about it was there's stakes like yeah obviously it's like more comedic but main characters do die like a lot in this and i thought that was that was great it was kind of refreshing in a way uh negatives because i still have at least a few so there are characters in this there are actors in this that are pretty much just there to die um there's no way you can actually juggle all these characters in this movie and yeah, a lot of them die, and it, it's a little it's a little obvious when it happens. Another negative, um, I've seen some people praising King Shark, voiced by Sylvester Stallone, and I didn't care for King Shark that much because it feels like a character that I've seen multiple times before. It's almost it almost even kind of felt like Hulk from Thor Ragnarok, where there's just this kind of big, strong, but dumb character. And this character is dumb to like a ridiculous degree to where, you know, it points up and goes hand during the meeting. I think that's in the trailer. He just didn't do much for me. Like, I, I, I thought some of the interactions, the interactions that they have with him are great, but the character felt one note and just kind of not very strong compared to the other characters in the group that I think were way better written and he's just kind of there for a lot of it. So there's only one more that I have, and this is my main issue. And this is going to sound probably weird, I guess. My main issue with this movie is Harley Quinn. Not the actual character of Harley Quinn, but what she actually does in this movie. Now, Harley Quinn is, gets separated from the rest of the group, 
and she has what are what is her own little storyline going on and it is boring as fuck it felt like it was it was it felt like it was from home of the movie like it, it just didn't feel like it flowed with the rest of the movie at all it's like she was on her own journey in her own movie and the the the, the thing that she was doing with a certain character i was like i didn't really care about it and in a movie that already feels like it's too long it's over two hours for a whole that whole thing to just be completely boring to me was a big issue not only that but there's also this thing where i don't know if it's a vanity thing for margot robbie or or um her popularity and they really want to like you know play on that but in a movie where characters can die at any moment and that was one of my favorite parts of it blown up by amanda waller who's great in this movie i didn't even mention that and uh, set on fire, shot in the face. I mean, it is gory. It is gruesome for these characters. You have Harley Quinn, who can go through an entire building filled with soldiers with two guns and a javelin and be fine, right? And I guess that's a spoiler, but I think that's in the trailer. Um, she has plot armor in a movie where the main thing is that she is that these characters are on this suicide mission, this little sketchy uh, suicide mission for Amanda Waller, and she feels like she has complete plot armor. I mean, it is ridiculous. Like, it, is, it is crazy. I mean, in a, in a, if she's able to do all this by herself, why does she even really need the Suicide Squad? It really does feel like Warner Brothers just wants to make a Harley Quinn movie, like with Birds of Prey, where it's pretty much a Harley Quinn movie. In this movie, it's like, they're like, well, this is a team movie, but we gotta give her a shine, right? We gotta give her a whole, we gotta give her that whole little thing, you know? It just, it takes away from the actual movie. It takes away from the team. And I thought that storyline was lame. I mean, I really did. And it doesn't, it doesn't even make sense that she keeps getting, she got captured twice. Why did she get captured that, that, uh, that second time around? Why did they just kill her on sight? I, I, don't, I, I don't understand. Like that was really upsetting me. <laughs> um, I, think it's a, I think this movie's really good. I haven't, I saw it last night. Well, no, I saw it yesterday morning and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. This is definitely for me the best DCEU movie. Um, I, had, I thought it was a lot of fun. You know, I love the violence. I love the, you know, the, the characters and their interactions with each other. I think it's just a really fun time and because of the things that I just mentioned, mainly that plot, um, I'm going to give it my second to the highest rating. I'm going to give it a Just Awesome. It almost got my highest rating, but in, in a movie that's over two hours, for me to be bored in certain scenes like that and was taking me out of it, that was probably a, that, that was a pretty big problem for me. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That's The Suicide Squad and I'm done.